Hello, this is Paul from Quicken Mobile, and in the video today, we're going to go over something that I feel is extremely important, yet not often spoken about, as it pertains to the Lexus Light Folding Mobility Scooter. So let me just power the scooter off, and we're going to go over a couple components of the actual scooter first, and a couple important things to consider. Now the scooter itself, we give the scooter with a whole series of accessories, most of which are not pictured here, and a total of two lead batteries for the low price of 1513 and then for an upgrade, which would bring the total up to 1810, 1810 a lithium ion battery that is substantially lighter than the lead battery. Now the machine itself, if we take a look at the Lexus Light folding mobility scooter, one of the reasons this device is so popular is because it literally folds up to the size of a suitcase. And it comes apart in several different parts. Now, the actual scooter itself, we can see that it unfolds very quickly as well. We're ready for action has an adjustable speed, forward and backwards, and what I'm doing right here, I'm actually driving the scooter with both hands. Even though it has the electromagnetic brakes, which means if I take my hand off, the scooter brakes, I need both hands to actually operate the device. And if I'm turning from side to side, you can see here this is actually an indoor-outdoor machine, so I'm on carpet, I need all the strength in the deltoid muscles, the, the rotator cuff muscles, I need core strength, I need strength in all of my spinal erector muscles to actually keep my body stable and to actually steer the mobility device. And of course, if, if I'm moving, it's, it's always going to be easier because there's more momentum. This is a front wheel drive device, and of course, this has an incredible steering range. But let's take a look at the actual batteries themselves. The battery is situated on the front of the device. So the battery comes off, and I would prefer a battery that's a lightweight battery versus a heavy battery. Now, a lot of people ask us who we are, so I'll take this opportunity to show you exactly who we are. If you like this video or if you like any of the products that you've seen, you can visit quickandmobile.com. Right there, quickandmobile.com. You'll have to type that in your browser or your phone directly or call us Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. through 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Enough of that. You could just rewind that and actually pause the video if you want to see that again. Let's take a look at the lithium battery versus the lead battery. So at first glance, this lead battery here and this lithium battery here look very similar. But let's take a look at the actual numbers here. So we're going to put this lead battery on the scale. We'll get real close there. It's giving me an error message. So let's try this again. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's on. We'll give it a try once more and then we'll scrub the video. So let's lift this up. There we go. Maybe it's actually going to work this time. Place the battery on the scale and Look at that, we have 18 pounds for that lead battery. Okay, now if we take this battery off the scale, and picking it up and putting it down seemed to work. Okay, now we're gonna put the lithium battery on the scale. Looks like the lithium battery is, is going to be too light to even register on the scale itself. So the lithium battery is approximately nine pounds. And this scale, of course, it needs something a little bit heavier than nine pounds to register. Now, if I put this lithium battery here, lead battery, I'll just kind of show you guys. That I'm not picking up with my pinky. It's just, it's too heavy. It's, it's 18 pounds. 
a lot different than 90 pounds. If, if you can ask yourself, I mean, definitely people buy these scooters because they would like to enjoy, key operative word, enjoy being more mobile. If you could just ask yourself, 10 pounds, I have a 10 pound weight here. Do I want to be carrying around a 10 pound weight every time I move my scooter? The answer is probably going to be no, that you don't. So if that's the case, I strongly encourage you to at least contemplate considering the lithium upgrade because it will make, even though it's a little bit of a sting, a $300 sting to begin with, that's over very quickly and then you literally get months if not years of enjoyment of your scooter without having to do this sort of thing and I hate this scooter because I can't use it, it's too heavy, without having to do any of that. So I do appreciate taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video as it pertains to your decision making process for a Tesora Easy Travel Lexus Light folding mobility scooter, one of my personal favorites.